So that we're good. Uh, we're going to have to find this page inside our Laravel app and try to update it. So to find it is simple. Just look at the 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 URL. You see that it has QR code. That's QR codes folder, and this is the show file. So we go um, to our resources resources folder um, inside views inside QR codes folder. So what we're looking for is a file named show show.blade so show.blade is too short but if we look here we'll see that it's importing another file all right it's importing another file so if we go to that file is called it's inside qr codes folder and it's called show fields.blade so it says show fields.blade cool so now we have all the fields this one displays the id look at qr code id this one displays the user id this one displays the website so if we go back we'll see ID, user ID, and so on. So um, let us just take one, duplicate it. I've duplicated it. Then we can just use it to display the QR code. Um, remove this. Now this is how Laravel displays some something. So what we are going to, what we want to display is the QR code path. Or uh, let us not do it since there's already a QR code path down here. QR code path. Where do we have it? Look at it. So let's convert it into an image. Look at it here. If you come here, you see that um, it has generated QR codes and has 6.png. So we want to make a reference to it as an image. So here, I'm going to create an image. I'll do img src. Then we we'll close. This is how you create an image in Laravel. But before then, in Laravel, if you want to make reference to the public folder, you will use asset. Once you type asset, Laravel knows that you're making reference to the public folder. So we're basically telling it asset, go to public folder. Inside public folder, you're going to see a file named this. This is what, what we want to display. So let us go and refresh. Oh, it's reloading. Bang, we have it, you see? Makes sense. So now we can now play with the size. Let's say we are working with width. Width. Um, we can do 30 pixels. Or let's say 100 pixels. It's basically an image. You can use it the way you use any image. But one thing I want to let you know is that um, it's not good to use your CSS to manipulate and get the image uh, to change the size. You understand? You better create the exact image you want. For instance, um, if we look at our QR code settings, let's go to um, QR code controller. Here, we are deciding the size of the image. That's why it's this small. So if you wanted to increase the size, we better create an image that has a bigger size instead of trying to use CSS to adjust the size. Because somebody might be tempted to come over here, uh, remove the pixels, make it 300. If you just write 300, it means 300 pixels in HTML. So somebody might be tempted to come do something like this. And then when you refresh, you see how big it is. But the thing is that it's no longer sharp. So the phone that is going to snap this QR code might be having problem recognizing it. So um, it's not advisable to use CSS or HTML to expand the size of a QR code. You better create the image that is exactly the size you need. So I'll remove this, but then come here and uh, here and make it 8. 8 is twice the size of 4. Makes sense to me. So the next image that will be created will be bigger, twice as big as this other one. So that's it. Like I told you, it's, it's a simple image. So according to the app we're creating, the, the platform we're building, this guy, this webmaster that created this can copy this and share it on WhatsApp, copy this image, go to WhatsApp, share it. And then anybody on WhatsApp can use the app we're going to build. We're going to build a mobile app towards the end and anybody can use the app and scan this image. If they just upload this image into the app, the app will give them a payment page immediately. They make their payments and buy the product straight up. So it's not just going to be on this website. It can be taken anywhere from here. The the um, the webmaster can just copy this image and um, integrate it into their platform on their website. They don't have to do anything here. So what 
what information is actually contained in this message in this qr code this qr code is an encryption of a message and what information is contained there let me show you it contains the word message so if we scan this right now with a mobile app it will just display the word message all right and that's what we're going to do in the next video just to show you um that that's the information that is contained there so that further down the video we can now encrypt a number of things and uh, put into this qr code so thank you very much see you